Well, uh, there was, as I said, a change in Max because Don was essentially a verbal comic and he had surprising physical prowess, but I didn't know that at that time. So again, I have, I, Don, pardon me, uh, Don had made several appearances on the Steve Allen show and he did a character called Inspector Glick. And then he had done the Bill Dana show where he had developed Glick. And uh, Glick had the same nasal quality of Maxwell Smart. Actually, Don had been an impersonator when he first started out, and the Maxwell Smart Inspector Glick voice was based on William Powell's voice. It was an impersonation of William Powell. And if you see a William Powell movie now and give it a little more nasal quality, you hear Maxwell Smart or Glick. Uh, so he had the ideal voice, and with that voice comes uh, demand cadence. You have to write to its peculiar rhythm. It, 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 you can't have an, uh, an extra vowel or it loses its... Uh, 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 diminishes the punchline. Uh, the um, so it was, but it was distinctive enough to be able to write. Also, Don was able to write his own character well. Uh, Bill Dana had worked with Don on developing that character, so I had access to uh, the originator and and the creator. Uh, and there being two different in it, Don and Bill, who were both. Uh, Bill was a friend. So it wasn't difficult to make it uh, the verbal transition. And of course, Buck had the same, has a fantastic year. And uh, any changes we made in the initial script were made, um, uh, we made when Buck came out here. Oh, well, Buck and Mel came out for the pilot and adapted uh, the script to uh, Don's rhythms.